The Miocene Epoch was a golden age for whales, with many varied species filling the world's oceans and growing to all sizes. Though none of them will reach the size of modern blue, grey or humpback whales, species of 10 metres are common. With such a wide array of filter feeders, it should be no surprise that they have predators. Off the coast of South America, a small pod of baleen whales is migrating south. It is a family group with individuals of all ages and sizes. They use their echolocation to scan the area around themselves as they swim, giving them a clear view of what is in front of them. Behind them, however, a colossus is approaching, parting the waters in its wake as it builds up speed. Some of the pod members sense the threat and sound the alarm with high-pitched squeaks as they begin to scatter. One sub-adult moves his head around trying to locate the source of the danger. When he detects the massive form barreling towards him, he freezes. Never has he seen something so massive. Now separated from his pod, he is the obvious target. As he tries to flee, the huge predator hones in on him and opens its jaws revealing rows of the largest teeth the planet has ever seen. The huge pursuer dwarfs his prey, and as the youngster swims in a blind panic, he is impacted from behind. The 36 centimeter conical teeth cut through the whale's blubber and flesh as if it were wet paper, almost cutting straight through the victim's tail. Having disabled the target, the huge predator lets go and then bites into the whale's midsection. With so many thick teeth biting into him, the small whale doesn't have a hope of escaping. As he struggles, the water around him becomes thick with blood. The monstrous predator swims to the surface, his mangled prey hanging limply in his jaws, covered in thick puncture wounds. Leviathan. The largest and most powerful predatory whale the world has ever seen. Similar in appearance and size to a modern sperm whale, but far more deadly. This monster hunts other whales. Unlike sperm whales, Leviathan has teeth in both its bottom and top jaws, and they are truly massive. The largest non-tusk teeth of any animal, combined with his powerful jaws, mean that even if prey escape, the enormous wounds that he inflicts will quickly bleed his prey out. This male is 16 meters long, and over 50 tons, though some of his kind can get even larger. As he feeds on the smaller whale, he rips off chunks of flesh and then draws it down his long jaws. The nutritious blubber is an important part of his diet, one that he can enjoy now that he is an adult. In his younger years, he mostly fed on fish and seals, and avoided one other predator species, a species that he can now detect is closing in, circling him and his kill. The largest predator the planet has ever produced, the infamous Megalodon. This titan of a shark is also 16 meters long and 60 tons. Not only that, but it is a whale killer as well. No other food source could possibly create a monster of her size. She heard the splashing of the kill and honed in on the smell of blood. And now the most powerful predators the world has ever seen are sharing the same space. The Leviathan leaves his kill and faces the Megalodon, even as she slowly swims towards him. This is in a way a game of chicken, though with each participant being twice the weight of a humpback whale. Staring down from the surface, the Leviathan doesn't move but the Megalodon slowly edges forward, her dark eyes giving nothing away. It seems that two colossi are about to fight. Then she turns away and moves to a safe distance, away from the kill site. With the threat attended to, the whale returns to feeding as the shark circles and waits to see if anything will be left behind. Though they are both top of the food chain and can meet for the same resources, these two species rarely come to blows. The risk of injury for both sides is too great. Each possess the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom, 
and so one bite from either of them could mean death. The Zara may be a golden time for whale species, but especially those that prey on them, including the mighty Leviathan. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down the mightiest of the sperm whale family, Leviathan. Leviathan was a massive macroreptorial cetacean in the same family as modern sperm whales. Originally discovered in Peru, we only have parts of the skull and teeth. It is believed to have lived between 9.9 .9 and 8.9 million years ago, at the end of the Miocene era. However, some additional finds in Chile, South Africa and Australia suggest that Leviathan, or a close relative, may have survived until around 5 million years ago. Its name is taken from Leviathan, the biblical sea monster, and the author of the Moby Dick novel. With little remains, calculating its size is difficult, but with other extinct whales and modern sperm whales as a guide, Leviathan is estimated to have grown to lengths between 13.5 and 17 metres, so slightly larger than modern sperm whales, which get between 11 and 16 metres, with some large males reaching 20 metres. Leviathan could have reached over 57 tonnes, making it a contender for largest predator the world has ever seen. Its teeth are the largest of any animal, excluding tusks, with the largest being 36 centimetres long and 12 centimetres in diameter. Unlike their modern relatives, Leviathan had teeth in the top and bottom jaws, these teeth would have sheared past each other and interlocked, meaning that whatever it grabbed onto had no chance of getting away. They were also deeply rooted in the gums. As if this wasn't intimidating enough, gaps in the side of the skull indicate very strong temporal muscles that would have given it an incredible bite force. Leviathan was clearly an apex predator feeding on anything, and seems to have specialised on whales in the 7-10 to 10 metre range, occupying a similar niche to modern orcas. Whether they hunted in pods is unknown. Modern orcas can work together to hunt whales much larger than themselves, and sperm whale females will stay together in small groups, while males usually are seen alone. Leviathan, however, was so large that they may not have needed to go in pods, or never adapted the behaviour at all. Being so powerful and large, it may have been better to hunt alone, as opposed to sharing a kill amongst a group. The enormous head of Leviathan would have housed what's called the spermaceti organ, that was used for echolocation as well as communication between other members of its species. This huge head may have been an effective battering ram, used to first disorientate or wound prey, making it easier to catch in its jaws. So why did it go extinct? Well, when you're so big, you need a lot of resources. And if those resources disappear, your species probably isn't going to last long. At the end of the Miocene era, the Earth was cooling, and baleen whale species began to get larger, but also decrease in diversity. Without their primary source of food and other environmental pressures, the mighty predatory whales like Leviathan couldn't survive, and were replaced by other toothed whales like dolphins. They are survived by the three species of sperm whale, that made it through by occupying other predator niches. Now of course it wouldn't be a leviathan video without mentioning that it shared its environment with Megalodon, the largest shark and largest predator in all of Earth's history. They lived at the same time, ate similar prey, and no doubt interacted at some points in prehistory. So who would win in a fight? I usually don't do these type of prehistoric versus ideas, because ones like T-Rex versus Spinosaurus would never have actually happened, as the two species never would have met. However, Leviathan and Megalodon no doubt did meet. So here are my thoughts, if they were to go head to head in a fight. Both are around the same size, both have incredible bite forces, both would have had to have been quite fast. I would think Megalodon would have been a bit more manoeuvrable, and it wouldn't need to go to the surface to get air. 
Leviathan probably had better defense with its layer of blubber, and would have been more intelligent. In truth, this probably would have been decided by who gets the first bite in. Their teeth and jaws were so incredibly powerful that even a non-lethal bite could cause traumatic damage, bleeding, or leave the victim in a weakened state and vulnerable to a follow-up attack. If I had to pick, I'd say Leviathan would win 55-60% to 60 of the time. It's a really close matchup though, so it could swing either way. But what do you think of Leviathan? Do you think it deserves as much attention as the Meg? Let me know what lesser known prehistoric animal you'd like me to break down next. And until then, thank you for watching. Is it Leviath Leviathan? Levi Leviathan? Levi Leviathan. Leviathan. I'm just going to call it Leviathan. That sounds cooler. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.